Hey, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome to Remixed Reviews. Today I'm actually reviewing a figure from a show that I've watched since uh, it came out, which was Arrow. Uh, we're in season three now. Um, to be honest with you, when it started off, I was a huge fan, especially in season two when things got rolling with the character of Deathstroke. Uh, I believe that any show or movie is just as good as the villain. As much as we all like our superheroes, it's a good villain that makes the movie or the TV show even that more interesting and even better uh, with the case of The Dark Knight. Uh, the Dark Knight trilogy, uh, I was a fan of the Batman, but when you, once you had the Joker in there, the movie just, that particular movie just seemed so much better. Uh, same thing with Arrow. Uh, with Deathstroke in it, I really enjoyed the show. Um... Now in season three, he's not no longer a part of the show, and that in, with the add of the Flash, which they do a lot of crossover with, the Flash is just such a good show. It actually made me like Arrow even less. But that being said, I still watch Arrow. I still the, the power through it sometimes. Uh, but I was a big fan of the Deathstroke character, the look, and uh, I'm glad that they came out with the figures for these uh, characters. And my favorite one by far was Deathstroke. Um, I was happy to get them a reasonable price. You could uh, they they come out around uh, 20 to 25 dollars Depending on where and when you could get them. I actually picked mine up at a local comic book shop here in Chicago So what uh, out further ado, let's take a review at that stroke from the TV show arrow So here's a look at the packaging for arrows death stroke um, These boxes have are pretty much the standard now for the DC collectibles line I don't know the DC, uh, DC collectibles great Caputo series also has this standard box I do like the open look of that stroke I do like the image that they put here of him the way he looks on the TV show I thought was cool and in the back They also have the other figures that you could take a look at Oliver Queen without his shirt on What I do like here is the mask on the stick with the arrow going across uh, That reminds me a lot of season one. I thought that was a nice figure to add then you have Canary, Deathstroke, and Arrow in his full suit. Like I said, I probably won't be collecting the other figures from this line, but who knows, if I find them on clearance or something, I might. Um, it's down here at the bottom, it shows you how much I paid for it, which is $24.99, which is about average. You'll probably find it cheaper at a show or something, but I'm fine with it. Deathstroke's a great character and one of my favorite. Um, so let's open this bad boy up and take a closer look. So right off the bat, without even messing with him, I think he looks awesome. It's a great looking figure. He stands right around, right at 7 inches tall. And that's good because I actually thought he was going to be a little bit shorter. Um, but let me bring him in closely. It's got a great sculpt, great head design. I like that eye that you can see. It's looking right at you. Looks pretty, pretty, pretty menacing. I like it's a clean, nice line across the paint job. I thought that was a paint defect, but he actually has another gray little, um, looks like the clipping to his uh, face mask. Uh, the design looks very, very good. I like the colors. I thought I wanted a little more blue and orange on him, but to be honest with you, for the realistic look of the show, this does pretty well. Uh, look at that sculpting. You can tell he has layers of, um, um, Layers of guards on top of the sculpting, which is pretty cool. Bullets. Uh, you look at the back. Uh, I like uh, they even add his little hair tail. I like the fucking, um, all the straps. He's got a lot of straps going on, which is cool to hold his blade. He's got a little knife holder right there. You could see um, that's where one of his accessories going, which is pretty cool. Uh, great sculpting all the way through, man. Even like the back, you could see the clippings on his guards. Just really cool. Really, really good attention to detail. Like I said, you have the catcher type um, guard, shin guards. You got more straps, gun holsters, belts. Uh, very, very cool looking figure. I'm really happy with the sculpt. I think the colors they chose are uh, decent. I mean, um, like I said, I'm used to having a little more color. But you know what? Since the head is sixed out, and that's the trademark of this character's look, I think it, it goes pretty good. I do like his neck too. If you could get a closer look at that, there's a cool little design in there. I just think overall this figure is awesome. I'm really happy with the sculpt, the size, and the design of this figure. I don't think they could have uh, done too much better, especially when you compare it to what he looks like on the show. As far as accessories go, he does come with the katana sword, which has some pretty good, uh, pretty good detail in there. The ninja sword comes with. Um, a 45, which is uh, actually pretty good too. It has some nice 
uh, silver painting with the little handgun grip. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It does come with another blade. I want to say this is more like a military type blade. And then he comes with a little, little knife too. Which I think this is the one that comes in the back. So overall he comes with one, two, four accessories. Including the handgun. I think I would have liked it if he came with maybe another uh, 45 or even possibly a machine gun. So as far as his uh, blades go and his guns, he is able to hold the 45 in his holster. The sword does fit very well in the in the sheath, and he, he has his little knife down here that also fits sideways. I didn't see a place for this blade, but you know he could hold it in his hand. Overall, I like it. I wish it came, like I said, with maybe a little bit extra, but that's fine. I mean, they gave us uh, some decent um, weapons, so I'm cool with that. And if I ever need to, I could probably uh, find some from other figures to add to that. When it comes to articulation, um, he is a little stiff, so I'm not sure if I'm getting precisely every range of motion. His arms come out only about that far. He does have a 360. He does have a 90 degree elbow hinge swivel at the at the hand but that's pretty much about it on both sides um very minimal ab crunch if any i don't know if that's just because he's stiff or i really need to put him in hot water his legs come out about that far t-joint hips legs only come forward about that far only go backward about that far so uh there's a double jointed knee which is good and there is a, a great ankle pivot that everyone loves um, you know what? I'm okay with the little lack of articulation because, I mean, the basics are all there, especially for this being a DC collectible. Um, you know, the articulation is good. Anything that misses out on articulation, it makes up for with the actual sculpt and the overall look of the figure. His head doesn't go uh, all the way around in 360. It goes up very minimal, comes down a little bit. Uh, not much articulation to go to show for it as far as the head goes, but overall, um, it does its purpose. Uh, if I were to rate it 9 out of 10, they'd give it a 7. So here's a quick comparison next to the DC Universe Classics Deathstroke. Uh, I absolutely love this figure, so I kind of uh, rate every figure of Deathstroke that I get next to this one. And I gotta say, it holds uh, it holds up well. Um, both of them have a different take on the character, but both of them... As soon as you see it, you know exactly who the character is. So that being said, that being a Deathstroke fan, I recommend this figure. And I definitely can't wait to uh, pose them next to each other on my shelf. So I hope you like this review. Overall, I do recommend this figure if you do not have it. Uh, please leave your likes and your comments at the bottom. And we will see you next time. For more information, don't forget to visit us at www.comicsremix.com. And we will see you next time. Peace. I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.